All right, so ready to dive into the world of Wiccan. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, he's, uh, how do I put it? Billy Kaplan, a.k.a. Wiccan, is a walking contradiction in terms. And that's before we even get to the whole Scarlet Witch connection. Right, like talk about a unique origin story. He starts out as this, you know, regular teen, bullied for being different, finds comfort in comic books, classic. Classic, yeah. And then, boom, he discovers he's got powers that mirror his favorite Avenger. Talk about a wish fulfillment. Right. But it's even crazier when you consider his parents are, like... The furthest thing from magical you can get. Cardiologist, psychologist, regular Jewish upbringing. It's not your typical recipe for a superhero. Yeah, and that's what makes his story so compelling. It's this blend of very grounded, relatable experiences with these huge cosmic elements. It really makes you wonder how those powers even came to be. Like, we know Wanda's reality to warping messed us up, but Billy's existence... That's something else. It all goes back to those children she thought she lost. To Mephisto. Yeah, Mephisto. It's like... Their souls or echoes of them got woven back into existence through Wanda's magic. And the fact that he and Tommy are twins with similar powers and even appearances, hard to ignore that. It adds a whole nother layer of tragedy, don't you think? Like a manifestation of Wanda's grief given incredible power. Exactly. And it makes you question what really makes Billy who he is. Is it genetics? Some latent magical lineage from Wanda? Or is it purely a result of her being a nexus, being with the power to reshape reality? It's honestly, it's a lot to unpack. No kidding. And speaking of unpacking, can we talk about the sheer range of Billy's powers for a second? It's like he bypassed the whole magic school thing and went straight to cosmic conduit. Right. The Marvel database describes it as reality warping, much like Wanda's. But with Billy, there's this sense that his intentions are, how do I put it, pure. Remember that time he healed Teddy after that brutal fight with the... Oh, yeah, he was practically yeah. pouring his heart out and it actually yeah. like amplified his magic or something. Exactly. It wasn't just focus. It was emotion fueling his power. And that's what makes him different. He's not just casting spells. He's channeling something far greater. Healing, teleportation, energy blasts, even flight. We've seen him evolve from these simple phrases to incredibly intricate control over his abilities. Oh, and we can't forget about the whole electricity thing. That's got to be connected to Wanda's hex energy, right? Like, what are the implications there? Definitely a detail that can't be ignored. Mm -hmm. It hints at a wellspring of power even beyond what we've seen. Remember what happened with Morden. It was terrifying. Seeing what could happen if that power was ever truly unleashed, intentionally or not. Chills, man, chills. Okay, but it gets weirder, right? Because we haven't even touched on the whole Demiurge thing. Right, the Demiurge. We're not just talking superhero stuff anymore. We're talking about the potential to reshape reality on a cosmic scale. Hold on. Reshape reality. Okay, we're going to need to break that down. Reshape reality, <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's a pretty big claim to unpack. Where do we even begin with that? Well, the term Demiurge gets thrown around a lot. And it's easy to glaze over. But we're talking about a being with a power to, like, think universes into existence. It's a level of power that even most cosmic entities can only dream of. It's kind of hard to wrap your head around, you know. I mean, we've seen Billy struggle with his powers before, but this is something else entirely. It's like comparing, I don't know, a firecracker to a supernova. Yeah. Yeah, both explosive, but the scale is just... Incomparable, yeah. Exactly. And those moments where he loses control, like with Moradin, they take on a whole new meaning when you consider this potential. No. It's a glimpse into what could happen if that power were ever to run unchecked, even for a moment. It makes you wonder how anyone, let alone someone as young as Billy, could possibly handle that kind of responsibility. Talk about pressure. And he's got enough on his plate as is, right? Fighting interdimensional threats, trying to understand his place in the world. And on top of all that, he's got his relationship with Teddy to think about. Right, because a relationship with Emperor Hulkling can't be easy, even without the whole potential demiurge thing looming overhead. It's more than that, though. Their relationship, it's a huge part of what makes Billy, well, Billy. It's a source of strength for him, but also a reminder of everything that's at stake. It adds a whole other dimension of complexity to his journey. Absolutely. I mean, imagine trying to explain to your partner that date night might get canceled because you accidentally shifted the space-time continuum while making breakfast. Not exactly your average relationship hurdle. Right. But on a more serious note, it speaks to this fascinating duality within Billy. He has this immense power, this cosmic destiny, but he's also grounded by these very human desires for love connection, a sense of normalcy. And you see that in how he uses his powers, too. Like, 
Yeah, he could solve every problem with a wave of his hand, but he doesn't. He tries to understand, to empathize, even with those who seem beyond redemption. Exactly. That's what makes him such a compelling hero. It's not just about what he's capable of, but about the choices he makes, even when facing unimaginable power. He chooses compassion, chooses understanding, even when it's difficult. Which I gotta say makes those moments where he does cut loose all the more satisfying. Oh, absolutely. Seeing him unleash the full force of his power is always a sight to behold, but it means so much more because we know it's not a decision he takes lightly. It's like we've seen the struggle, we understand the weight of what he's carrying, so when he finally does let go, it's cathartic, both for him and for us as readers. And it leaves us wanting more, right, because we know he's capable of so much. But the big question is, what will he do with that power? Will he embrace his destiny as the demiurge? And if so, what kind of demiurge will he be? That's a question for the ages, and I don't think even the writers know the answer yet. But that's the beauty of it, right? We get to watch this character evolve, grapple with these huge cosmic questions, and ultimately forge his own path. And it's a path that could lead anywhere. Which is both exciting and a little terrifying. I mean, we're talking about the potential to reshape reality itself. What does that even look like? Does he create, destroy, something in between? It's a lot to process, and I'm not sure I envy Billy having to figure it all out. But hey, that's what makes this story so fascinating to follow, right? Absolutely. And it raises a bigger point, I think. Even with all the cosmic power in the universe at his fingertips, it's the choices he makes, the person he chooses to be, that will ultimately define him. So we've talked about Billy's past, his powers, his relationships, and this incredible destiny that's been laid out before him. But what does it all mean? What's the takeaway from all of this? Yeah. And it makes you think, with all this talk about destiny, unlimited power, what does Billy actually want deep down? Right. Like, does he even want to be the demiurge? (laughs) It's not exactly a career path you'll find on a guidance counselor's desk. And let's be real. Wouldn't we all be a little tempted by that kind of power? I know I'd be tempted to, I don't know, rewrite the ending to that one movie that always bugs me. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. But Billy... He always seems to be trying to do the right thing, even when it's hard. Remember that time with the Wrecking Crew? He could have just, like, blinked them out of existence. Oh, yeah. But instead, he actually wanted to understand them, help them. It's kind of amazing to see. And that's what makes his story so compelling, right? Yeah. It's not just a question of if he'll become the Demiurge, but what kind of Demiurge he'll be. Will he be merciful? Will he even be able to handle that much responsibility without it, you know, changing him? It's kind of a lot to think about, honestly. But that's why we love these characters, right? They make us ask the big questions. And honestly, I don't know what choices I'd make if I were in his shoes. But I'm definitely along for the ride to find out what happens next. Me too. And I think that's what keeps us coming back to these stories. The sense of wonder, the possibility. And with a character like Billy, those possibilities feel truly limitless. I mean, who knows what the future holds for him for the entire Marvel Universe. It's exciting. Absolutely. So as we wrap up this deep dive into the world of Wiccan, what's the one thing you hope our listeners walk away thinking about? You know, I think it'd be this. If you could ask Wiccan one question, knowing everything we've discussed, what would it be? What question gets to the heart of who he is, what he's going through, the weight of that destiny on his shoulders? That's something I'd love to hear from our listeners, because ultimately these stories, they're a conversation and we're all part of it. That's a fantastic point to end on. So listeners, we want to hear from you. What would you ask Wiccan? Hit us up in the comments and let's keep this conversation going. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep diving deep into the stories that make you think.